Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. Today, I want to share with you my observations about GPU mining revenue and it's changed in 2022 so far this year. It's going to be a challenge. I'm going to also share with you some tips that I'm using to get even higher profitability out of my card in this challenging time. If you haven't already subscribed, smash down on that subscribe button. Stick with me. Let's get started. Looking at my mining revenue, I see we're off to a really tough start for 2022. I'm looking at Flexpool, which is where I do a lot of my direct Ethereum mining on Hive, and I see 100 mega hash mining Ethereum is only making $4.71 a day, and that's before electricity costs. So it's maybe making about $4 a day even after that. These are really, really low numbers compared to where I was even like a month, month and a half ago. I knew I was in like the 640, 650 range. Sometimes it would go up and down a little bit from there, but come down below $5. And now after electricity costs, it's probably only about $4 a day for a full hash rate RTX 3080 card. It's very, very concerning. If I look at what Ethereum is doing price-wise, Ethereum is about almost 3,050, and this is a grid for, for a year. However, this time, I know earlier, it's summertime, I guess last year, probably around these times, maybe let's look at uh, July, and when even prices were lower, I'm seeing Ethereum was at about 1817 at that time, and that was on July 18th. And I was making higher mining revenue, higher profitability. And why is that? And I believe that's a lot due to the Ethereum difficulty. So if I go back to that July point, this is looking at the Ethereum difficulty over a year. Currently it's at about 12.466 OP. And about that same time last year, it was about 6.9, 6.5, 6.6 in that range. So the difficulty was almost half of what it is now. So now even though Ethereum has come down in price to about 3000, the difficulty is a lot higher. There's a lot more miners. Everybody's mining. There's ASIC miners, there's GPU miners. Everybody's trying to mine it. So the difficulty is up a lot higher. And that's really, really hitting my mining revenue just between the prices dropping down. Plus, we don't get the rewards now after EIP 1559. We don't get the transaction fees anymore. Then maybe a miner's tip, but we made more, I think, overall too. I think when we were getting paid on the transaction fees. But if I'm going to now to what to mine, what to mine, if I plug in a single RTX 3080. But let me change this to 100 mega hash because we know it's a little low where it's showing there. And I see what to mine. These are my primary algorithms selected. I'm going to be making $4.72 saying a day and $4.72 a day before electricity and about $4.17 after electricity costs. And that's all in an average of the last three days. And if I scroll down, I see if I was mining it on nice hash, wow, I'm only making $3.96 a day after electricity costs. So if I was mining with a full hash rate card, RTX 3080 on nice hash, all overclocked and tuned, working well, I'm not making even $4 a day on my card. This is a very, very alarming number for me. I have equipment costs. I have to pay electricity, depending upon what your situation is, if you have other overhead or hardware costs. If we have to sell coins in the meantime, making these low revenues, it's gonna pose a challenge for a lot of us. And where is it gonna go? Where is it gonna be going forward? So I think the big key to that is trying to optimize and get the highest hash rates we can out of our card, really tweaking it to get the most. Those few extra hash do make a difference. Just using what you have to get the most out of it. Personally, I'm not trying to grow my farm and stuff like that anymore. I'm just trying to stay place. However, I actually was just met with a challenge. EVGA just sent me a notification that you were notified from the EVGA queue that you have a RTX 3070 Ti for the win card. Wow, I can get this card at MSRP 829. Forget between tax and shipping, it's about 850. And it's RTX 3070 Ti and it's from a great card manufacturer like EVGA. So I'm like, what do I do or where do I go with it? If I go to nice hash profitability, if I put in, let me, 3070 Ti. Nice hash says it's gonna make me $2.63 a day. And that's after 10 cents electricity. And that's a projection of, so it's 263. So if I had this card at 829, if I bring up a calculator, 829 figure about $850 after tax and shipping, divided by 2.63 a day. It's going to take me 323 days, divide that by 30. It's going to take me 10.77, almost 11 months. So 
10.77 months just to break even on this card. And who knows where we're going to be now with Ethereum supposedly going to at some point in the near future. They're saying maybe summer 2022. Who knows? Hopefully it goes a lot longer. That it may go to proof of stake. That's scary when I'm only seeing that it's going to take me for an MSRP. It's going to take me almost 11 months to break even on a card. Just like I'm kind of caught. What do I do? Would you do it if you would take you 11 months to break even on this card? I know mining revenue is down now. Hopefully it's just a momentary blip before it just launches back up higher. This is kind of a challenge when you're sitting there hesitant to buy a graphic card at MSRP. This is kind of a new situation for me. I've only been mining since about a year and a half. I've gone back deep into mining. I didn't mine through crypto winters like 27, 2018, like Red Panda and some of the more seasoned miners have. When I see these revenues are come down, then it's going to take me 11 months to break even on a card. I kind of hesitate what I'm going to do. Um, what would you do? My situation, I just kind of tossed and turned all night before my 20 hours. I pull the trigger. I said, okay, I'm going to go for it. I went for the card. So I did order it. It's going to be here probably in the next couple of days. And we're going to be doing a review on it too, to see. And hopefully it's a great card because it's going to take me a little bit longer now to ROI if these numbers stay where they are and where they're going. On the bright note too, though, I'm seeing some of the other coins are stepping up. As we put out even earlier videos, we've shown that other coins like Ravencoin and especially Conflux Octopus mining within NiceHash has been more profitable at certain times. So if you're using the algorithm switching within NiceHash, there's times I'm even finding like this is my LHR rig. That's about 350 mega hash of Ethereum. Momentarily, it's deciding, hey, it's more profitable to mine Conflux and it's giving me that extra 10 to 15 percent. I'm going to estimate higher mining profit from that rig overall. It helps out. So you want to be able to set up, I think, to use your cards to their max potential. If you're using tools like NiceHash, you want to make sure you have other coins like Ravencoin or Conflux Octopus configured that they're enabled. So if they momentarily, I'll see Octopus will become all of a sudden more profitable, even if it may be for a half hour or sometimes it's for an hour or two than it is to mine Ethereum, then you want it to automatically make that algorithm switch. Uh, some guidance too. NiceHash actually has a blog on Ravencoin Kapow. It's very, very similar overclocks to what you would be doing for Ethereum. The only difference is you wouldn't be pulling back the core clock. You would usually be using the memory clock at either like between a zero or two, 100. But on this NiceHash blog, they actually give some guidance on some overclock settings. And it's normally the core clock is what's offset back a little bit to give it a little bit more core because it's a core intensive algorithm where Ethereum is more just memory intense. You know, my strategy right now is just try to sit tight. We're just going to mine everything full force. Hopefully this is just a momentarily dip and we're not heading into a deep crypto winter and just try to get the most hash rate you can out of your car. Try to do what you can do to increase your profits. And a lot of you may be asking, how do I do that? Um, the only thing I could say though too is just do research. We have a lot of great videos on our channel. Now that we've reached thanks to your support over 10,000 subscribers, once again, thank you very much for that. We have over 50 videos and we show that using things like the right NVIDIA driver makes a difference to your hash rate, especially with your LHR cards. We show how to use the T-Rex miner now and put that plugin back into NiceHash so you can use the T-Rex miner in NiceHash, which is my preferred miner. We also show how to do other mining for other coins like Octopus and Conflux with Ravencoin. We have NB miner T-Rex overclock settings and how we're able to get the highest hash rates from it, GPU rig builds, a lot of other information, everything from where to buy graphic cards, you know, although I'm very, very reluctant unless I get an MSRP. And even then I was just kind of hesitant. It's kind of scary if you can get offered a card at MSRP and you're just like, I don't know, is that really a good deal? But time will tell. So I did go for it. We'll see how that turns out. And we also have some great videos on dual mining. So if you're not familiar with dual mining, T-Rex Miner, which is just an NVIDIA specific miner, it has the ability to mine two coins at the same time. And this could be advantage, especially for cards with 12 gig, like your 3080 Ti or your 3060. They have the ability then too, they can mine, use the card to its full potential to mine coins like Ethereum and Conflux or Ethereum and Raven to try to use the card and just kind of doing like an automatic algorithm. It's trying to mine both of them in parallel to get some more potential revenue. So we have a lot of great videos on everything from that power supplies, tuning cards, and we're doing our best to answer questions and hopefully help and guide people. And we're still learning. We're not professionals. We're just learning like you. We're just really big crypto enthusiasts. So I hope this video has helped you and just 
shared with you some insight that I'm seeing on the market. And these numbers are pretty scary, but hopefully they're they're temporary. And just what are you doing? What's your plan? Have you been through a crypto winter? These numbers, uh, they still seem high to you. I'm pretty scared that if I'm not making even $4 a day on a full hash RTX 3080, considering my cost involved, if I had the equipment all paid off, maybe it would be different, but I'm not. I'm still trying to get to that ROI point for it. And where are you at? And what are your plans? I'd love to know. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up, like smash down on that subscribe button if you haven't already. We welcome all your questions and comments. Put them down below. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Happy mining!